Welcome to the Pythagorean Theorem in the Coordinate Plane Practice Problems. There's a link in the post below that has the worksheet, the task, the three tasks that I'm going to review today in this video. So you can print that or have it open another doc, complete the problems ahead of time, and then hear how the exemplars work out for your answer key. First problem we're going to talk about is finding the distance between the points negative 2, 3 and 3, negative 2. So like we learned in the lesson, the first thing you want to do is plot the two points and connect them with a straight line. The next step is you want to turn that into the hypotenuse of a triangle by forming a right triangle forming the legs. So I have a leg of 5 and another leg of 5 connecting those two points forming a right triangle using the coordinate plane. Next, we know that 5 and 5 are our legs, so we're going to go to the Pythagorean theorem. We're going to input the value 5 for leg A and 5 for leg B and solve for C, the hypotenuse. Reminding you that the hypotenuse is always directly across from the right angle and it's always the longest side of a right triangle. 5 squared is 25, 25 plus 25 is 50. Take the square root of both sides, and we round to the nearest tenth, finding that this green line, the hypotenuse, the distance between the two points, is 7.1 units. Question 2. Find the distance between the points negative 6, negative 4, and 5, 3. If you haven't already completed this problem, pause the video and hit play when you're ready to see the answer. First, you want to graph the two points, negative 6, negative 4, and 5, 3 in your coordinate plane, connecting them with a straight line. This is the hypotenuse of the right triangle that you're going to form. This time I went up and to the right to form the legs of the right triangle. You could also go down and left. You could make your right triangle down and left. So now that I know the legs, I can use the Pythagorean theorem. Input the leg A for 7 and the leg B for 11, reminding you that those are interchangeable. You could have done 11 squared plus 7 squared. 7 squared is 49. 11 squared is 121. Add, we get 170 equals C squared. Find the square root of both sides. The square root of 170 is 13.04, and the square root of C squared is C. This time I rounded to the nearest hundredth because there was an insignificant digit here, and it didn't specify what to round to. So if it specified to round to the nearest tenth, I would have answered 13.0. If that's what you answered, I would accept that as an answer. Question three. Again, if you haven't completed this on your own, pause the video and try it on your own and hit play when you're ready to see the answer. So we are being asked to graph the triangle A with the ordered pair 3, 4, vertex B, 1, negative 2, and vertex C, negative 8, 1. Then we're to find the perimeter of the triangle. Okay, I've provided you a little hint. So first I've graphed the triangle ordered pair A, 3, 4, ordered pair B, 1, negative 2, ordered pair C, negative 8, 1. Second step, all of these are diagonal lines. So I'm going to start with the green side, segment A, C, or C, A. I'm going to turn that into a right triangle, and it has legs of 3 and 11. So I can find the length of this green triangle, the hypotenuse, which will be one of the sides of my triangle. So here's the math that goes along with that using the Pythagorean theorem. Input the values of the legs. 3 squared is 9. 11 squared is 121. 9 plus 121 is 130 equals c squared. Take the square root of both sides. And when you do that, you get the answer of 11.4 units. So again, that is this first side, this green side of the triangle, because we're trying to find the perimeter 
which is the distance around the sum of all three sides. So I use the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse of this green triangle that I formed. Let's move on to the next. So the second side, I'm gonna find the side, this side length of this triangle, which is now the hypotenuse of this right triangle I formed with legs two and six. Using the Pythagorean theorem, input the value of the legs, two squared is four, six squared is 36, add those values together, you get 40. Take the square root of both sides, and you get that this length right here, the hypotenuse of the purple triangle, which is the second side of my triangle, is 6.3 units. Now I'm ready to go on and form an orange triangle. So here we go. I have an orange triangle with legs of 3 and 9, which will help me. This is the hypotenuse and the third side of my triangle. So using the Pythagorean theorem, I input the value of the legs. 3 squared is 9, 9 squared is 81. The sum of 9 and 81 is 90. Take the square root of both sides. The square root of 90 is 9.5 units rounded to the nearest tenth. So now that I have solved using the Pythagorean theorem for all three sides of my triangle, I now have the measurements of my original triangle and going back to the problem, it says find the perimeter of the triangle. So new screen just to show you, these are the, the math that I did to find the three sides of the triangle. The perimeter is the sum of all three of those sides. So the sum of 11.4, 6.3, and 9.5 is 27.2 units. So the final answer of the perimeter of the triangle is 27.2 units.